why should you consider adding intermittent fasting to your regimen? I'm going to give you the top five advantages that I see and it's coming right up. Advantage number one, fasting can be used with any diet. Remember that fasting is any period of time that you're not eating. Therefore, it really doesn't tell you anything about what you eat when you decide to eat. It only concerns itself with the amount of time that you don't eat. So whether you follow a vegetarian diet or a carnivore diet or a low carb or a high carb or a low fat or a high fat, it doesn't really matter because you can still add fasting. If you think about it this way, you can break um, the, the day into two parts. The part where you're feeding, that's when you're eating and your body is going to store energy, which is calories. And then there's a part where you're supposed to fast. And that's why they have this word breakfast, break fast. It's the meal that breaks your fast. It's supposed to be in balance. Whereas feeding, you're going to be storing calories while you're fasting, you're going to be using those stored calories. The body stores calories in two ways. It can store it as sugar and it can store it as body fat. If you have too much sugar, you might have type 2 diabetes. If you have too much body fat, then you have obesity. So therefore, if you want to take care of those diseases naturally and without medications, then simply allow your body to burn off that energy because that's all it is. That's all body fat is. That's all that blood sugar is. It's a store of energy. <clears throat> Advantage number two, flexibility. While you're fasting, the most important thing is that you are always in control. You are deciding not to eat. It's not that somebody uh, is forcing you. It's not that food isn't available. It is available but you're choosing not to eat it. And therefore, you can change it whenever you want. You can do it some days and not some days. You can decide to do more this month and less next month. If you're going on vacation, for example, you might not do it at all. And then afterwards, you may do more to catch up. And that's okay because you're always in control. Advantage number three, it's free. The advantage of fasting is that it's completely free. You don't have to pay any money. In fact, you're going to save money because you don't have to buy the groceries. You're in fact trying to feed yourself off of your own body fat because your body has stored all this energy in those fat cells and as it stores the energy, it's going to let you burn it off and you're not gonna to have to pay for it. Advantage number four, it's simple and convenient. It's very easy to explain to somebody how to fast. You simply don't eat. There's no complicated rules. It's not like you have to figure out how many carbohydrates are in your uh, box of uh, cookies or you don't have to see if it's keto, you don't have to see if it's gluten-free or vegetarian or whatever. You simply don't eat. You can explain it really in five seconds. You simply choose the time that you don't want to eat. If you decide that you're going to fast for 16 hours, that means you're going to feed for eight hours. So you can decide, for example, to eat between the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And outside of that, you simply don't eat. And because it's so simple, it means it's available to anybody, anywhere, at any time. You don't have to have access to special foods or special bars or special protein shakes. You don't have to pay anybody for that. It's always within your grasp. It's also convenient because there's nothing complicated about it. If you're, uh, for example, not the one cooking and you want to eat a very low carb diet, and somebody cooks for you and it's all carbs, well, it's very difficult to eat. But you always have that choice of not eating, which is fasting. It's also going to save you so much time because you're not going to have to worry about what's for 
uh, the next meal. You're not going to have to worry about getting to your next meal. You're not going to have to uh, buy the groceries. You're not going to have to cook it. You're not going to have to spend the time eating it. And you're not going to have to spend the time cleaning up. And because of that, it's going to simplify your life as well as your diet. If you're trying to follow a specific diet that's uh, very difficult, for example, you go somewhere, you're vegetarian, and you go to a steakhouse, well, it's very good. It's very hard to do that. But if you're going to fast, you can say, well, you know what? I'll catch up with you guys next time. It's always there for you. And the number five advantage and probably the most important advantage of fasting is that it's powerful and it works. Think about it this way. When you don't eat, you're going to take in zero calories. But your body still needs energy. It needs that food energy to get the heart going, for the lungs, for the brain, and all that. So it's going to have to burn those stores of energy, which is for either from glucose or from body fat. So you can't get lower than zero calories, so it is the most powerful diet that is currently available. Anything else you do simply cannot beat it. And it works because if you find that fasting for 16 hours doesn't really work, you can extend it. You can do 24 hours. You can do 36 hours. You can do 48 hours. You can keep going until you start seeing the results that you want. There's no limit to it. If you're vegetarian and you want to lose weight, well, you can't get more vegetarian than vegetarian. So therefore, you've reached the natural limit. But if you're fasting, you can always go longer, as long as you do it safely. And for type 2 diabetes, there may be particular benefits to intermittent fasting. In type 2 diabetes, the body has too much glucose, which spills out into the blood. And this can be used as a source of energy for the cells. So if you're not eating, your body's going to turn to the most available source of energy, which is the blood glucose. So therefore, you can use it to bring down your blood glucose rather than relying on medications which have side effects, which can be expensive, and all that kind of thing. It's a natural way to bring down your blood glucose. In fact, the American Diabetes Association started to address this in its 2022 update on nutritional treatments and it flagged it as one of the areas that is interesting for potential research. There hasn't been a lot of research lately, but because of the intense interest in the last few years into intermittent fasting, two studies came out at the end of 2022 which suggested that indeed intermittent fasting could be used to bring about a drug-free remission of type 2 diabetes which is all natural. And that's all great news because this is something that is available to anybody, anywhere, at no cost. So remember that there's a huge number of advantages to intermittent fasting. Those are my top five. And there's lots of different ways that you can incorporate the fasting into your schedule, building a fasting routine, building a circle of friends that will help you to lose weight, Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.